from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the Award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. Now, if you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and you want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is animals. This is segment one of episode 68. In our previous episode, we explored behavior adaptations. Now, some adaptations challenges our understanding of certain animal groups. A good example can be seen in penguins. Now, penguins are birds. Our first thought about birds is their ability to fly. Yet these birds don't fly, at least not in the air. They can flap those skinny wings all they want to, but penguins just can't get airborne. The size of their wings in relation to the size of their bodies is just too small. Now, watching these Gen 2 penguins, they seem a bit awkward walking on land, but they seem to be doing fine here, finding things to eat in the surf. Watch as they wade into the water and bend over and snap up their food. So why do they even need those diminutive wings? Well, this is where we see the power of their adaptations. Penguins use those skinny wings to maneuver in the water. That makes them experts at catching their prey and escaping predators. Now, penguins also have behavior adaptations. Penguins engage in this courting behavior. Of course, most animals mate in order to reproduce, but this bonding is for life. Mates that stay together for life are able to share the work of raising a chick without the distraction of seeking other mates. Gen 2 penguins excavate a cavity in the ground for a nest. There they await a mate to build the actual nest. Now, unlike emperor penguins that incubate their eggs on their feet, the Gen 2 penguins lay their eggs in the nest. Another behavior adaptation is the social nature of the penguin colony. All the adults share the responsibility of protecting and raising the very young Gen 2 penguins. Now notice how the adult in the foreground is carefully looking around. It appears to be on guard duty, or at least playground duty, as monitors in a schoolyard. Now with their short legs and wide upright body, penguins may at first seem like birds with great limitations. However, closer observation reveals that far from a curse, the physical and behavior adaptations of penguins are a blessing, one that helps them survive and thrive in their coastal environment. Penguins stand out compared to most other birds, like the shorebird in the background and the large bird that you'll see swooping in. Designed for powerful swimming, living in cold areas, and living in protected colonies, penguins are great examples of how physical and behavior adaptations join to make them highly successful birds. So while we look up to see birds, it's important to know that not all birds fly, and that's okay. Some of the birds that bless our planet would not be with us today if not for some wise but difficult action taken in the past. We'll take a look at the conservation status of, of animals when we return with segment two. Now. Hi, I'm Rudy.
Regina Ayers and the host of Getaway Girl. Join me to learn how travel can open you up to new people, new experiences, and new inspirations. You can take on a new persona when you travel, lighter, freer, more willing to be spontaneous and able to just go with the flow. I know I do. You can join me and travel around the world. Uganda and Rwanda to see the great apes. Netherlands to see Amsterdam from the canals. See Cuba and Havana and the countryside. Or travel to Myanmar to see the temples of Old Bagan. Russia to walk the streets of Moscow. Join me soon for Getaway Girl. Getaway, getaway, getaway now. Getaway, getaway, getaway now. Take a plane, take a train, take a car. Just getaway, getaway, getaway now.